collective welcome back to my channel this is angel i'm going to do a you versus them love reading i am going to use the numerology guidance oracle deck to find out what spirit has for you as well as your person i'm going to do the beach time soul to figure out what is happening from your perspective as well as your person's perspective and a mutual energy and then i'm going to get clarification with it's called the astro matrix tarot deck um, and we'll see what is happening and what will be an outcome for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I hope you guys are doing well. And if you're not, I'm sending well wishes your way. So let's get started. Spirit, if you would show me. Moderation. Ooh. Uh, card number 14. That's going to break down to a five. So Spirit is saying you are overindulging in something. And moderation is going to be the key. I don't know if you smoke. I don't know if you drink. I don't know if you gamble. I don't know what it is that you are doing spirit is saying you're doing um things are in excess you're going to have to use moderation um even if you're drinking soda caffeine any of those things spirit is saying you're overdoing it and there's nothing wrong with any of those things if you do it in moderation so spirit is urging you and some of you guys definitely to drink more water spirit is saying some of you guys have some back pain um that you guys are experiencing and some dark um, you know, urine, excuse my language, I don't mean to be graphic, but that you need to take care of because you're not drinking water. So do things in moderation. Spirit is urging you or it's possibly going to uh, cause an issue for you. Show me more. Um, patient spirit is saying that you're waiting on something to happen. Um, like you, you may be waiting on um, this relationship to move to a higher level of commitment or for this person to ask you out or for this person to ask you to marry them or for this person to ask you to move in. The Spirit is saying there is a change in this relationship that you are expecting um, to happen and Spirit is saying that they're urging you to be patient um, because all things line up for our greatest and highest good when it is time. Um, show me Gemini, not Gemini, you guys may be dealing with the Gemini. Um, show me Cancer's person. Show me Cancer's person. I know I'm in the Cancer reading. So if you're dealing with the Gemini, you may want to watch that reading. Let's see. Change. Yeah, there's going to be a shift. I told you you guys are wanting something to happen in this dynamic. And Spirit is saying that the change is going to happen. That's card number five. You have five here in moderation. And then you have five here in change. On your person's side, change. On your side, change. On their side. So it looks like the change for this dynamic is mutual. So it's not like this person is fighting against it. And we're going to get more to try to figure out what is keeping the situation stuck. Why is it not moving in the direction that you want it to? Um, also teaching and learning so this person feels like they're in a situation that they're growing from uh, this connection is one that they feel is different than most um, because they feel like they're learning a lot not only from you but from the connection um, i think they are figuring and finding out there there is more to love than just physical um, and they know you know that there is a person that can love them wholeheartedly and they probably never felt that that was possible. So this is an eye-opening experience for this person. And because of that, it is going to bring about a change. So this person, what I'm feeling, and I'll see if the tarot and the beach time supports it. But I feel like this person feels that there is a big significant um, shift for a positive situation between you and them is about to happen and they're going to be the catalyst to this change they're going to be the reason that it happens because they're going to invoke the change and they it's something that they want because that you have taught them a lot and this relationship has taught them a lot and they've learned a lot about love and relationships so they feel like they now have the strength and the ability to move forward and um, move things into a deeper connection um, whether that is marriage or whether that is a committed relationship or um, moving in together or whatever the case may be or making this official they feel like they have what they need to make that decision 57 breaks down to a 12 so you guys may be seeing 12 12 12 or 3 3 3 um, as well and at the bottom of the deck manifestation you both have been manifesting this situation this is your ideal partner and this person feels like you're their ideal partner you may be seeing 8 8 8 as well so it looks like you both are on the same page but we'll see what is keeping it stuck because if it's not moving the way that you want it to something keeping it stuck um let's see and it could very well be fear um show me for the greatest and highest good for 
the Cancer Collective. What is happening for them? Um, show me how they're feeling about this connection and what they think is happening and how they are feeling deep down. Let's see. What's happening for my Cancer Collective? Again, if I called you guys Gemini, it's simply because you guys may be dealing with a Gemini. And if so, drop it in the comment section. I'd love to know. Because sometimes those energies come through very, very strong. Wedding rings. Yep, you ready. You're saying, I'm ready for this commitment. I'm ready for this situation to move to a higher level. Um, so union, wedding, marriage. Uh, not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversations and a person. Um, also, coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment. So what it looks like over here is a fit. It looked like you didn't have a fit over here. And when I say it looked like you had a fit over here, because I got the wedding rings coming out strong and full and in effect saying, this is what I want. This is what I need. I need this to happen. And then a not today where you either got pissed off by this person or they pissed you off because they're slow walking this connection. And now you said something that you should not have said, or you acted out of character with this person. And now you want to smooth things over with this coffee cup and meet up and have a conversation. If it is not you, I'm not blaming anybody i'm just reading energy reverse the roles if this is not you this very well may be your person but someone in this connection got very very pissed that the person did not respond in the way that they wanted to um when they came to them with this idea of progression in this relationship and they went off and the other person um pretty much wasn't expecting that to happen was surprised by it and now the person that acted irrationally is the one who wants to apologize so show me over here what's going on with cancer's person with regard to this connection show me more kisses unconditional love uh giving and receiving affection okay okay so they seem level-headed over here um also not enough Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage. Oh, that there it is. That tells me. And then heart with the key. Welcoming, love, meeting the one, opening the heart, getting together perfect. All right, let me tell you what happened with, with this situation. So what it looks like is this person over here, cancer being your person, slow walk this relationship out of fear and out of ego. Um, they wouldn't progress it forward. They were leading you on, not because they were cheating and not because they were doing anything unfair. They were protecting their heart. They were guarding their heart. And they slow walked the situation. And anytime you came to them about progression, they put the block on you and it pissed you off. And it looks like you may have gone off on this person um, and caused a tower moment to happen. We'll get into the tarot in just a second. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, hand of cards, taking a risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand and gambling. Yeah. So <laughs> both of you guys are being very strategic because I think you both are calling each other's bluff. You know that you want to be with this person. This person knows they want to be with you, but they're mad because you went off on them and you're mad because they're holding out and because they're slow walking this connection. You may feel that this person doesn't want to be with you and they don't feel the way that they feel about you, but that's a lie because there's kids is here and hard with the key which says that this person has unconditional love for you it clearly states unconditional love welcoming the one um, opening their heart getting together but this person is stagnant out of fear this person is afraid to be hurt this is a very strong connection in their opinion it is one that they never had before and this person feels if all of the other raggedy relationships hurt me why would this one that has the ability to break me why would this one not hurt me so this person is self self sabotaging this situation out of fear you on the other hand did not read between the lines as we should in relationships because we should know um, how we feel uh, as far as ourselves towards someone and if we read the energy correctly and we pay attention to their actions, then we'll know how they feel as well. Um, but someone can easily mask that by self-sabotaging like this person did. So I'm not blaming you, but I'm saying rather than going off on this person or acting out, a, a serious conversation needed to happen. And this is where you say, hey, look, babe, look, this we need to have a conversation because I see our relationship is going down the wrong path. And I don't want it to go there. And I want to do everything I can to work with you to put and make sure that our relationship is on the right foundation and let them know you're serious about this because you see it 
moving to a, a place that's going to be very unhealthy and one that you will not continue to uh, engage in if it gets to that point. And rather than doing that, you went off on this person or they went off on you, whoever went off on whoever. And now there is this uh, five of wands craziness and foolishness happening between you and this person. So um, now both of you are uh, gambling and taking a chance, taking a risk, trying to strategize on how to bring this connection back together. Um, and there's lessons being learned on this side and a change is about to happen. And now you got to deal with patience and moderation. That moderation is on your temper, Cancer. You need to make sure that you are taming your temper uh, your temper because if you continue to fly off like that um then you're going to have some problems spirit says you guys have the uh skill and ability to manifest this in to be exactly the way that you want it show me with the tarot what is happening with cancer in their person i just saw that queen of pentacles that's you sitting up there strong and solid <laughs> the queen of pentacles don't play no games uh, so i can that's a stoic energy and if that's the energy that you in you need to fix it uh, not that being a queen of pentacles is bad, but that stoic energy is because it's too extreme on one side. Um, show me the show me show me spirit for the greatest and highest good for the sign of cancer. What is happening with cancer in their person? What's happening with cancer in their person? Show me how cancer feels about this relationship currently. Show me one and two more shuffles. Two and three. Let's see cancer. Four of Cups, you feel like this is a missed opportunity. You feel like you put a whole lot of work into a connection that didn't produce anything. You're saying, I wanted this wedding. I wanted this family. I wanted this dynamic. And I ain't get nothing. I put in all this work, all of this attention, all of this affection. And I got absolutely nothing out of it. So you're sitting here with your arms folded with the Four of Cups. It's content um, with this connection and what has happened in it. Um, also, the magician, you're saying, I'm going to manifest, if not this situation, then I'm going to manifest something for myself. This is you over here. This manifestation is card number eight here. You're saying, I have the skills and the ability to make something happen for myself with or without this person. But the only thing about that is you're not taking the, the right steps to try to work the situation out with this person you're acting out of ego and you're wanting to move forward because this person won't cooperate rather than trying to get them on the same level with you in the matter of conversation you may say i've talked to them a million times well the shit just got real so now that it's real this is where you have the real conversation when nothing is real and you're not taking any action towards leaving a connection and you're just sitting there uh you know complaining about what you're unhappy with that is no reason for change but if this situation has in fact ended with this not today card looking like you're not talking to this person and this person over here with this not enough being frustrated you guys are not communicating and you may not even you may be no contact and that alone puts this situation in a higher level or higher level of urgency with change because now this shit is getting real so now this person knows with this learning and changing over here and teaching that this is a real situation that requires real action so you are manifesting past this person to say i'll go do something else when now it is the time that you dig your heels in deep and you save your relationship so manifest with this magician card a new beginning with this person and not necessarily a new beginning of starting over um also the lovers gemini energy you're saying you love this person um you're saying you're cho you chose this person in love this is the person that you wanted to be with so make sure that you are manifesting from a good clean space of energy so that you can bring this in successfully show me this person over here spirit show me this person over here show me cancer's person how's cancer's person feeling currently about this situation Ten of Wands, they're saying this is heavy. It's a heavy burden. They said they tired. It's been a lot to carry. They're saying the weight of this relationship is on their back. So they feel like they're responsible for everything that has gone wrong in this connection. And rightfully so, if they're the one who's holding back um, or if they're the one who's hiding their hand or if they're the one who's not speaking up. Rightfully so, if they're holding back from moving this relationship forward, 
out of fear, then rightfully so they should be carrying this 10 of wands. But this 10 of wands is a completion. They're saying it's the end of this burden of carrying um, this uh, heavy burden. Also, I have the empress. This person feels like you're the empress. They feel like you're the person. If they were to um, make something happen in this world, then it would be with you. Um, they see you as someone who is definitely a, a great counterpart and someone who they can work well together um, with. They're just afraid. Um, if you don't have children with this person, this person may want to have children with you. If you are still um, in childbearing age or able to have children this person definitely sees that with you that's towards libra energy um, on the magician that is going to be gemini aries and scorpio energy and as i stated on the lovers that's gemini and taurus and libra on the empress show me one more card for cancer's person one more card for cancer's person the knight of cups yeah here's the thing they learned they learned they learned that it was their inaction that kept this situation stuck. And that's why they are using their wits about themselves to say, hey, if I don't come in and start talking to Cancer about fixing this relationship and turning things around and hightailing it into the direction of something solid, then Cancer is going to be gone quick, fast, and in a hurry. This can, uh, this Knight of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This could be your energy or this could be your person, but I'm strongly feeling that this is your person's energy wanting to come in and express love because I think there was a lack of love in this connection um, to start. And that's what made this person put the brakes on because they have been closing themselves off and not showing their true uh, feelings. Um, show me on this side, what action is Cancer going to take with regard to this connection? What action is Cancer going to take with regard to this connection spirit? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's see. The Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. The Hermit. And the Queen of Pentacles. So what is <laughs> what it looks like is you are going to stand your ground and say, I need to see some major change in this dynamic before I take this person back. You're saying, I need to figure out what's right for me. Yes, I love this person, but this person being stuck and not being sure about me has got me in my head. And now I need to make sure that this is what I want now. And see, that's what happens. That role reversal, this person played a dangerous game. And now you're at a position of saying, well, yeah, you might want me back, but I don't know about you now since you didn't know about me in the beginning i don't know about you so the nine of pentacles says that you want to be single hermit says you're going within to ask the divine for direction on this relationship but the queen of pentacles says that you're solid and stable and the queen of pentacles is a marrying um, type of energy so you want stability with this person but you're saying I got to go and find out first. Let me sh be sure about it. Just like you had to be sure. I don't know if you're doing this intentionally. It doesn't feel like it. Um, but if you are, then rightfully so, you have the right to do that. Um, show me this person's actions over here with regard to cancer. Show me um, cancer's person's actions in this connection. The Knight of Wands. <laughs> they ain't going to let you. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The Page of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy and the seven of wands uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. they're coming in with a lot of fire you may be dealing with the fire sign you may not be but this person is saying I love cancer and I have a lot a lot of fire for cancer I'm not letting this situation go okay I'm about to roll up on cancer let them know how I feel I got a lot of good news about moving this situation forward and I am willing to defend this situation at all costs with the seven of ones this person is not going to try to hear you being single um, so if that's one of your little antics child go on and put that down because this person is not trying to hear that they're not trying to hear oh I'm gonna be single. no that's not the seven of ones is telling me they not going for that OK, just like if you really cared about them and they told you they're going to go off and be single and try to figure out they they're not going for that. Just like you wouldn't go for it if they told you that. OK, show me uh, the mutual energy between cancer and their person regarding this situation and then I'll get the outcome. Show me the mutual energy. The six of Pentacles. Y'all want to work together on this connection. 
the Knight of Pentacles. It is you're saying we need to start over from ground zero and we're going to move slowly with the Knight of Pentacles because we know what we want this situation to be. Um, but we're going to have to move slowly. So both of you feel like starting over and moving slowly is going to be the best thing. And Six of Swords moving into calmer waters, getting rid of the chaos and conflict that you guys had. Show me the outcome for uh, Cancer. What does Cancer want this connection to look like as an outcome? Show me Cancer and their want for the outcome for this situation. The Nine of Wands, the Hangman. And the eight of swords. Look at you. You're talking about uh, I'm the wounded warrior. I done been through a lot with this person. So I'm just going to hang upside down and let the Lord, the divine, the universe tell me it's all right because I'm in my head about it. This person has stalemated this situation so much that it has you second guessing this connection. And I think going within with Virgo energy and the hangman is a really good thing to do. And I would urge you to do that before you start entertaining the interest of anybody else i would say go within and see what the divine gives you before you bring another partner into this situation if you choose to do that or if this is your person show me um cancer's person's energy with regard to this connection how do they want this to turn out what outcome would they like to happen with this situation look at that nine of cups popped out okay let's see nine of cups show me one more this one Three of Pentacles, and give me one more. This person jumpy over here, Lord. And the Five of Cups. Okay, here it is. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the Tower. It is going to be shocking. It's going to be shocking to your person that you want to slow things down to a point where you're saying, "I need to think about it." Um, the Nine of Cups. This person is saying you're their wish fulfillment. The Three of Pentacles is they're saying they don't want to let this situation go because you guys make a great team. They want to work together with you on this situation. And the fact that you guys are not working together on it right now has this person very, very sad. But Spirit is saying this person is looking um, to the past and staying in that energy and they need to look behind them and see these two of cups because even though you guys are not talking you never lost the love for each other so i think you guys have the ability to make this happen it is going to be shocking to your person that you're going to want to have this time but because they love you although they may be sad about this um, time apart or this distance that you need for clarity or you depending on who it is that needs the clarity and the distance um this is going to come together and it's going to be something that you guys are going to man manifest together um, because you both really want this situation although you are being stubborn and learning some valuable lessons with regard to relationships so cancer this is what i have for you guys i hope it brings you peace clarity and direction give me a thumbs up if you're still with me um, like comment share and subscribe to the channel and like the video and give me a like on youtube and tiktok depending on where you're watching this and if you're interested in a personal reading it is in the comment section on youtube and the link in the bio on tiktok i hope this brings you peace clarity and direction again guys take care and i'll see you on the next one